You know what, Nick? I'm glad you asked. Our kitchen is designed, it's not from, it's designed by Kitchens by Design. Always beautiful, always by design. So it was kind of from them. Nick learns something new every day. That's right, but we are going back in time. We're going to the 50s, and the guy taking us there is Jeff Edwards of Edwards Drive-In. I think it's kind of a big deal around the Indian, uh, Indianapolis parts here. Well, it eyes it got seems wide. to be growing up. Yeah. Eyes got wide when we said Edwards Drive-In. Like, oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> really? So you're known, and now nationally, right? You got exactly. some serious we exposure, Man yeah. vs. Food. Yeah, we were, we were on a recent episode of Man vs. Food, and since then, we are actually worldwide now. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, we were told that there's four international versions of it airing as we speak. Whoa, okay. Sweet. So we can honestly go out and say that we're international. Nice. So, I like that. Look oh, at that. look at some of these old pictures. Holy smokes. Yeah, those are really cool, too. That's Anybody awesome. Anybody in those pictures you're related to? Oh, and there, this is current. This is what it looks like now. Of course. So what's, the, what's like the lineage? How, how do you come um, to Actually, that? I'm third generation. Nice. Uh, we started in 1957. My grandfather and father started the restaurant, and uh, it's just been in the family ever since. We originally started as a dog and suds. Yeah, okay. Uh, and now uh, we're independent on our own aim, and uh, we've been serving the same breaded tender line and onion rings for 54 years. And that's what it looks like. Yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. Oh, it's beautiful. Goodness. And exactly. you're going to be making some. So what we're going to do yeah. is we're going to do what, what I would consider more of a home version so that obviously not everyone has a fryer big enough to put our tenderloin in. Sure. Yeah. That's so, exactly. A, that's a beast. So what we're going to do is a we're bowl. actually going to start with, um, let's make this quit beeping real quick. Okay. We have lots of beep. There you go. Right. There, there we go. go. Um, we're going to start with just a two ounce portion of a center cut pork loin. All right. A true breaded tenderloin is a center cut pork loin. Okay. Uh, oh, it's not chopped and formed or anything like no that. No imitators. So no, basically, yeah. what we've got to do though is you've got to um, tenderize it. Sure. That's the most important part because uh -huh. if you don't tenderize it, pork when it's cooked quickly mm -hmm. will tighten up. Oh, and it'll all right. It'll be real tough and chewy. Okay. Oh. Okay. So basically, we're doing this. Pound the snot out of it. We're just pounding it some on both sides. And like you said, this is going to be the at-home version. Yep, this it's is the at-home version. This is a residential. Okay. This is no cool. substitute. So basically, for the line, after you no. do that, you're going to dip it into a, a milk and egg mixture. Okay. To coat it with, and is then that, is that buttermilk or just straight? Just up? straight two percent okay. milk and a couple okay. eggs. About a cup of milk and two eggs will be plenty. Okay. And this is just nothing more than cracker meal. Oh, uh, you really? can take actually you can take saltines and grind them up to mm. a to a powder form. Okay. Cool. And then basically what you're going to do is cover that. And you're just going to press the breading into it Some all the way around, okay? Cool. And then you go back and we double dip. Oh. It's, the, it's the only time you're allowed to double dip. I was going to say, my mom told yeah, me. Exactly. Exactly. Etiquette. This is you know, hey, Chips is hey, not fun, but this they're is. They're global, so they can double dip. We double dip. Now, what we do in order to make the product adhere to the meat better, mm -hmm. we take these and we freeze them. Oh. And so you prep them the day before. Okay. You freeze them overnight and you bring them out. And then they'll look like this. So this one's right. nice awesome. and frozen. Right. So it doesn't, yeah. so it doesn't okay. have an opportunity to fall on. Right. It doesn't have an opportunity to fall on. So then we drop them into the deep fryer for about six minutes. Mm -hmm. And they're going to come out looking something like this. Wow. Cool. OK. Wow. And did See, you hear now that? Singing. Did you hear that? Yeah. It's kind of yeah. crunchy on the outside. It's crunchy. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Sweet. So You're then just bursting. we're going to take <laughs> this down here. We're going to grab this. We're going to grab a bun, bun. here. That and obviously, a little small. Well, you know, that's the idea. Well, that's the idea. Yeah, right. You know, <laughs> you always got to make the tenderloin hang over the bun a so little even bit. Even if it's a smaller exactly. version. Yes. Exactly. Now, even if it's a smaller version. <laughs> in in awesome. terms of uh, uh, condiments, are there is there a traditional well, <laughs> port, for, at least as far as the year Edwards driving is You know, uh, I would say probably the majority of our customers order it with everything. Okay. okay. Which is mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, pickle, and onion. Mm -hmm. Okay. We've got condiments down here. You guys can dress that one however you want. Okay. How, so, how do you want it? You want everything? Yeah, want I, want, so, okay. I, I want it. So we'll I want do that. it all, baby. So we'll do it like that. A little bit of mayonnaise, some lettuce. Now, is this one just mine? Or just <laughs> <laughs> well, we have tenderloins for everyone here. Okay. So, nice. so, that's a, so if you wow. want to take the liberty of taking this one, then we'll allow you to do that. <laughs> so, Could so cut now, it in half. Like, you're you're going to be rude. Oh, now, remember, <laughs> it is still a little warm. Oh, yeah, it is coming mm -hmm. so Should I wait maybe another minute? You might want to wait a All minute right. before okay. you bite we'll into wait. that. Well, trust me, we can continue to talk. When, when you're oh, dealing yeah. with a tenderloin the size of the one you serve, though, is your process, are you starting with a larger well, actually, one? Actually, what we do, out of it exactly, we start with a five ounce portion. Okay. Um, and our portions come from uh, a local food service supplier here, McFarling Foods in Indiana. Yeah. Good friends of our yeah. show. Um, they, um, 
they cut those specifically for us. Um, we're cutting and, and breading about 3,000 portions a week right now. Oh, now do those numbers go up when you're talking yes. summer months? Yes, yeah, they, they will the certainly be, go to almost double that by the time we get to the actual summer months when cruising is the thing yeah. to do and, yeah. and that kind of thing. So, do you have designated like cruising we, nights or they just sort of happen? Um, they just happen, you know. <laughs> we're not a, desti a destination cruise place, but, but they happen. Uh, you know, you'll be there on a Saturday night, and next thing you know, 25 or 30 cars from some vintage era will show up. And Man, that's amazing. You never yeah. know what you're going to find. Nope. Are, you, are you ready to try it? Yeah, it's I'll ready. Try it. If it is, it's ready. Yeah. It's ready. Oh, looks amazing. Just, just. Well, I was going to say, take a bite. Don't make out with it. <laughs> I am going to smack you. <laughs> you're known for that. Okay, you, it, this obviously mm. you mentioned went global. If someone had been to Edwards Amazing. already and experienced mm. the tenderloin, what would you say? Do you have a you have a close second, an A1 dish that you're known for as well? Um, mm. From what sandwich is, standpoint or just anything, in a restaurant? Anything. Well, our, our hand-dipped onion rings is probably our second item. Okay. Uh, okay. And that's something there, again, we cut from fresh onions every day, mm -hmm. uh, and then we batter dip those. and. Um, uh, in a batter that we have prepared for us. Look at that. And um, that's probably the secondary item okay. that we sell the most of. And then obviously the third is root beer and root beer floats. Big old, fr look at that mm. big old frosty mug. Mm, root beer floats, no, that's <sighs> good stuff. Um, are you gonna do some of these? Yeah, we can put some in right now if you want. <laughs> <laughs> wow, hey, are you gonna, you might wanna think about. Uh, really, it's pretty, it's, it's, it, it, it's you saw the You saw the trifecta and you're thinking, hey, I'm two thirds down on this trifecta. I'm almost yeah. there. Well, and, and nothing we do, can be done without a fryer. So sure, obviously. Right. But again, we, this is this is a you know yeah. this is a portable one. And this is one that you can actually you know you can use at home and and you can do this at home. But um, we have a batter that's developed just for us. And, oh, look at that. And uh, you just simply shake it off and okay. drop them in. And so don't feel bad when you attempt you know, this at home and fail yeah. miserably compared to your you know there are driving experience. As you guys know, the internet there are all kinds of different recipes for batter dipped onion mm -hmm. rings. Mm -hmm. uh, you know some include beer. Mm -hmm. Some do. Um, we don't in ours, but. Um, you know, it's it's not a complicated process. No. But uh, we're cutting about 2,000 pounds of onions a week. Whoa! Right now. <laughs> so pounds. if you're really sad, you can come. <laughs> you can cry a lot. And, and mask your emotions yeah, just and, by uh, helping you know. them cut up the onions. I like that. Now, has this recipe changed much? No. Okay. This recipe hasn't changed at all in 54 years. Whoa. All right. So. All right. Wow, well cool. Well, we gotta take a break real quick and hopefully and these will, these will be, done. be done. And no, then we're gonna talk root beer floats and I'm gonna work on my uh, sandwich. Yeah, you can't have a root beer float unless you finish your, your uh, well, that's not a problem. <laughs> I think so.